Okay, depends on the version. This is um, um, old version compared to your, your the, the version you are using is a new one, which is designed by ourselves also. So I put a cube. This is a crush already. The, the cube already crushed because uh, this is a commercial lab and uh, I don't have any new sample, spare sample for this. So, okay, for the testing screen, first you have to press the test button. If you want to select a new stand, new, new sample, let's say you press test, and then you go to sample, choose the sample you want, let's say this is uh, 150, After you choose, it will show you the sample type as standard cube, and all this is a uh, standard cube, so it will be all 150, and then this is 7 km per second. So you just press the button auto. Enter. This is to this is tearing stage, so meaning that the platen will goes up for the machine to sense the cube, the existence of cube. So it will be crushed until it can end. After it can end, it will release dropping, and then two seconds later, it will tear, tear the dead weight of the platen and distance piece. And after the value reached the, to the base, which is uh, 20 kn, uh, 10 kn, it will start to follow the speed according to the standard. So this speed bar indicates plus and minus 5%. The machine will ensure the speed will drop within the 7 kN per second. So every second it will increase 7 kN. The machine itself will control the motor and the hydraulic system so that the speed will within plus and minus 5. This is in perfect condition whereby the speed bar is located on the middle. So When the cube is crushed, it will show the now printing and then it will record the peak loop which is 430kn and also the MPA, 19.11 MPA. You can trace the memory by pressing button 2. This is summary or you press a board and then you press number 3. This is the summary test, test result. So this is page 1. And there are total of 68 page. Also, you can modify the rate depends on the the standard because uh, it is uh, there is a tolerance so you can press test and then you ch change modify the value of 0 0.7 for the cube 150 k 150 mm you can select from 7 to 13.5 depends on the standard so this is 13.5 some country they, they want to follow the 2009, the standard 12390 yen standard. So this is 13.5 kn and press auto, enter. Same as before, the platen will go up and touch the sample and make it to become to increase the load to become 8kn and then it will drop 
and then we'll tear the dead weight of the distant piece and also the plantain. After 10 kn or more, it will go to the testing page. This is the testing page. It will indicate the speed of the hydraulic system, and the system will ensure it will follow the rate 13.5 kn per second. So you can use a stopwatch. Let's say 300, you start the stopwatch. Every second, the increment should be 13.5 kn per second. So the percentage of failure now is the 12, meaning that the peak load, I will show you later, if you wish indicate the peak load, let's say 700 kn, and then the failure is 12, so 700 times 12 percent, it is 84. So you can see the cube is crushed. Okay, and then the peak load is 789. As you can see just now, this percentage failure means that how how many how how you want to crush the cube how many percent this is 12 percent you can you can see the crack line and so on if you set the percentage failure to become let's say five percent the you cannot see the the crack line like this it is lesser 